Welcome everybody to the rec center where I am accompanied with Casey Herzog. She's a junior pitcher for the Quinnipiac softball team. I'm Matt McAuliffe and this is a very special package that we have for you as Casey's going to take me through the fundamentals of how to pitch a softball and I'm going to try my best to copy the fundamentals. So Casey, after you take me through the steps, take me through what it takes, the one-on-one -on -one of pitching a softball. All right, if you're ready. So first, you're going to get onto the mound. And so when you get on, you have to have one foot at the front and one on the back. So okay. you always have to have both your feet on the mound. Within these lines? Within the lines. Okay. So you can't step out of the lines. Um, so when I pitch, I slide. But that's just a preference. N normal people just go straight forward. Okay. Um, a lot of pitchers, you'll come back to get momentum to go back in order to go forward. Okay. So first you'll go back, and then you'll come up. And you'll stride out as, as far as you want. All but right, when I'm, you, I'm six feet. I might stride out a you little. You might okay. so okay. far. But when you stride out, you can't let this back leg come up. All right. So that's big. That's so going to be tough. Okay. You have to stride out and drag your back leg all the way straight through. All right. All right. Give it a shot. You want to see one? I want, yeah. Go first, and I'll try and copy my best. OK. Oh, sorry. Wow. OK. All right. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, we'll see Got how it, it goes. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. So one in between the lines here. Yeah. Okay. And I got to watch my back. So this is going to end up being my back foot. Yeah. And I got to keep that on the ground the whole time. All right. You want to hold this for yep. me? Thank you. All right. All right. That was a okay. bad strike. Strike. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. All right. We'll try it again. We'll try it so again. So you want to try to? So. How was my back foot? So your ba this back foot was good. You kept okay. it down. Right. But with this back foot, you can't slide it off in order to go forward. OK? Got it. Wow. All right. So it can't go back. Can't, can't go back, yep. OK. Killed it. I gotta get that stride down. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's all about the stride too. Where does the power come from? Is it hips or legs? So the power is definitely gonna come from your legs. Okay. So when you throw, you wanna throw, and when we come back, you wanna be in a runner's start. So when I'm in the gym and I'm pumping iron and I'm trying to get my arms, it's got nothing to do with that. No. It's all about legs. It actually okay. throws off your arms because if you have big arms on one side and not on the other, it throws it off. Might be deadly. Okay, we'll give it a shot. I'll try right. third time. Third time's the charm. That was money. Yep. All right. Should I go for speed? I feel like accuracy is safer. I feel like I should <laughs> go for accuracy over speed. Oh, I liked, ah, I liked my form on that one, though. I liked my form. Right. So one thing you want to try, you want to try to let your, the ball come through before you bring your hip through. So when you go out, okay. you want to be here so then you can throw because you're like here. Okay. And that's where you hit yourself. And that's, got it. All right. <laughs> okay. So we need to, okay, I need to stride here mm -hmm. before I release the ball. Yeah. So if I come, all right, I'm trying to like do it now. Here and then throw? Yeah, but you want to stay open and then bring your arm through and, now, and, then, and then you want to come through. Okay, all right. And, now am I and you want to release it? right in between your legs. Okay, and am I holding the seam anyway or? So for a normal fastball, you do a four seam. So just four like fingers across and four seams so that when you release, you want to see all four seams spinning on top. Okay, makes sense. All right. We'll give it a shot. Oh, that one was rough. I'll try it again. I think you should try it for speed. I think try you need to speed, speed it up. Yeah. To speed it up? All yeah, right. I think it'll like bring it all together. All right, we'll give it a shot then. Better. All right. All right. That was better. All right. Actually, 
was bad. It was bad. <laughs> see, yeah, because see, if I overthink it, now if I'm overthinking it, <laughs> it's not going to come together. That was the release point. That one was all about release. Yeah, you might get a few cheers on balls, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll just go straight. This People time. are gonna get in my head if I. Yeah, don't... they yell about when you ball, and then they yell how many balls you threw. Is there like a song to that? There's many. There's many. Oh God! All right. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't even know if I'd survive. Let's see. Four seam. All right. Oh. That's all a right. strike. That was probably my best one. That was my best one. All right. All right, I, I don't know. I should probably end on top. I think I should end on top. Casey, again, thank you so much for taking me through the fundamentals of pitching. And I think people underestimate the, um, the amount that goes into a pitch, the work that goes into a pitch, the, the songs and yelling that goes into throwing a ball. There's a lot more to it. Casey, thank you very much. Guys, back to you at the desk. I, I hope I impressed you in some way. <laughs>